We're in Cali. Not only are we in Cali, but we're in Santa Monica. I have accumulated a lot of packages. Hey guys, Lamar, say hi. Why are you doing like that? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah Raquel and welcome to part one of Vlogmas. If you are new here, I am a recording artist as well as a content creator. And if you're coming back, Welcome, welcome. I missed you. My Vlogmas is going to be different and this is my first time actually doing Vlogmas. Um, I'm doing Vlogmas and Shortsmas. So I will be posting shorts every day. So make sure y'all checking out my shorts and following me on all my other social platforms. So I'm going to do my long form vlogs and parts. So I don't know how many times a week I'm going to be able to upload. At first I was thinking of just doing one upload a week, but then I'm like, I have a lot of footage that I haven't put out to you guys yet. So my vlogmas is going to be a little weird. Bear with me. <laughs> We're going to be basically doing flashbacks of what I've been doing in the past few months until I catch up to what I'm doing currently. The stuff I've been doing is really cool. So in today's video, I did a little like date night with my boyfriend. And then I went to a YouTube creator's um, week events and it was really dope and we about to dive into that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and like I said follow me on all my social medias. So yeah, let's get into Vlogmas. Y'all, so I just finished my haul and guess who came over and brought me flowers. Love he brought me flowers. We're about to go to Chick fil A. I was trying to find, sorry, the vlog is on in the background. I was trying to find a remote, but I couldn't find it. I mean, what's new? I always got vlogs in the background, so. But let's go. Let's get some food. <laughs> he fucking that shit. Oh. <laughs> It's the next day and I'm on my way to the Instagram creators event. Last year I was a feature creator in the event because I um, was a part of like the merch line um, thing they were doing where I won a merch line and I was able to, you know, have merch and Instagram funded it for me and I did it with FanJoy. So this year I'm going to the events um and yeah i'm on my way i did a get ready with me for instagram and shorts so make sure y'all go check that out and yeah i will vlog when i get there so we just made it on the number of views a video gets. In advance, I decided I'm just doing this one for me. How do you stop yourself from feeling bad when it doesn't get enough views? Because every time a video flops, you know, I still feel it. I've spent years trying to figure this out. I feel like I've played so many Jedi mind tricks on myself to try to figure this out. And I have figured out something, and I say this to myself every time before I post. And this is for the ones that I'm choosing for me. I made this because I wanted to. It's a success because I learned something. It doesn't matter if it flops. And in fact, I'm proud of my flops. I'm measuring success differently. I'm not measuring success off of number of views. 
I'm measuring success based on whether I learn something, which by the way is fully in my control and it's very inherently rewarding. Being willing to lose followers, getting into this mindset was honestly one of the best things that I did for myself as a creator and it's really freed me up to do uh, better work. So I've talked about followers, now let's talk about money. Oh, this is nice. This made me feel rich. Yeah, I think I'll do that, that as well. Okay, you got yeah. two items. Oh. Oh, and I think I'll do the... Which one did you do? Which one did I you did that and the journal. And the journal. Hey y'all, I just got back from the event and it was fun. That was that was a good one. That was a fun event. I really enjoyed that. The speaker Chang, I forgot what her first name was, but she was great. What she was talking about really resonated with me. He really would just start drinking as soon as I start talking to y'all. Okay, you done? You done? Okay, thank you. They had really cool like content stations and they had the staff editing for us which was like so dope i really appreciated it i got to meet a lot of creators that i've been following a lot of creators you know that inspire me it was a good time i got to see um a few staff members on instagram that i've been working with virtually for like a year yeah so i got to see alex shout out to alex um that's my boy and um and rico shout out to rico and mincy i got to see all my peeps a goodie that they were giving out was flowers so i have the roses that matt got me yesterday we got the these and these were the cute little like bouquets that they were giving out like and they're so pretty so i'm gonna make a little arrangement So I made two bouquets. I made one for downstairs. Just put the little orange flowers that I got from the event. Bam, bam. You know, it's not the prettiest, but whatever. And I got it's like two flowers in here that haven't bloomed yet, so that's why I put them in put them in this one. And this is the one I made for my room. This one is the prettier one. Okay, call me your little florist. The lighting in here is questionable. Let's just do like a little haul of the goodie bag I got from the Meta Creators event. So I thought this was cool. This is a, a Bluetooth cassette player. So it's like different. This is it. This will look cute like on my studio page. On my, on my studio page. On my studio desk or whatever. So we got a, a moisture mask by Desi. Ooh, it's an overnight mask. Y'all know I love an overnight mask. Yes, overnight mask, period. We got some sunglasses also by Desi. Hmm, Desi makes it. Okay, cute, nice package. This is not what I asked for. I just got earth. These is not the ones I asked for. <sighs> These aren't the ones I asked for. Okay, I'm disappointed. <laughs> My heart hurts a little bit. And then it's just like a little card from Instagram. My heart broke a little bit about the sunglasses because I specifically didn't want those because I didn't like what they looked. And there was another pair that I really liked. That I didn't get. <sighs> okay, y'all see this? This junky ass 
terrible. Hold on. Like, just me trying to <laughs> get dressed. Like, bitch. Bitch. I am so upset about those sunglasses. I am so upset. I wish I wasn't. I was just like, I was really looking forward to those ones because I was like, these are fire. Like, I love these. Like, it's this made me feel rich. Um, yeah. They gave me the ones I didn't like. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm over it. I'm not over it, but I'm gonna stop complaining. All right, I'm gonna time lapse me cleaning it up because, baby, this rum was spotless and now it looks like a train ran through it, so. Let's get it together. So that's the end of this video. Thank y'all for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social medias. And make sure y'all are tuning into the daily shorts for shortsmiths. And... Uh, Follow me on all my social medias and stay tuned for Vlogmas Part 2. Someday at Christmas, men won't be boys Playing with bombs like kids play with toys One warm December, our hearts will see A world where men are free